I had chili ramen. Oh shit! I already started. <laughs> <laughs> That's how the podcast started. I have right. chili ramen. Yeah. Sweet. <laughs> That's the title. Welcome back to Team Fat Kid. Choose the Fat. I am Jason. This is Alex. This is Dennis. This is, I'm Billy. All right, guys. We're professional. Yes, <laughs> we made it. It's fucking Monday. <clears throat> it's been a busy Monday. Uh, it's all right. Yeah, it's been a busy Monday. So, Billy, what the hell did you do all week when you're sitting on your ass at home? That. Yeah. <laughs> well, you got well, no I have been. I mean, did you watch any like new movies or anything? No, no. Your your phone is like exploded, and now you have like the foam all over your neck. <laughs> it's cool <laughs> money shot. I thought you said his phone exploded. That'd My phone even, exploded, guys. Yeah, cooler if it did. <laughs> <laughs> it sounds like you know, nothing, huh? Nothing. No, since uh, I'm, I'm, I was uh, let go from. Oh, you want to talk about that? Yeah. Let's talk about that. What happened? <clears throat> See so, what ha- happened was. So what happened? How'd you get fired on your day off? No, I was, I was going in anyway. <laughs> damn day day. <laughs> but, uh, so they have a company merge with another fucking... Well, that's how it happens. You need two companies to merge. You know, when, I like when two companies they're not, they're not, like each other a lot, <laughs> they're not asexual. <laughs> See, I liked it more when y'all were joking Dennis during the fucking burger for grind. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, yeah, so, uh... It's the cool lot we have all day. <laughs> <laughs> so they did a company merge and everything. Uh, me and one other bartender were let go. Um, and uh, is that why he called me? Who? The other bartender. Which bartender? Uh, oh, uh, yeah. I don't know. How what's, many what's can there be? I mean, there was like fifty. Well, the, the our, our good old friend from Holiday Inn. <laughs> but uh, I well, don't yeah, know. Yeah, if he, I knew who he was talking about, how did you not know who he was talking about? <clears throat> Continue. Yeah. <laughs> but uh yeah, they let go like apparently there's a list of people. And that... you were on the short list. I guess so. Did but, they uh, put you on the short bus? I mean I wouldn't be surprised. He was licking the windows. <laughs> <laughs> but uh Yeah, so um pretty much right away. Uh right after that, me and the bartender they're like, Oh no no, like y'all aren't doing your shit today. And me and the bartender were like all right, cool. We're going to fucking double D's, and I was so tempted to like turn the uh, the uh, flat tops all the way on and just scorch them. I mean, fuck it, y'all already don't have equipment in there anyway. So, <laughs> but no, that'd be bad. So, but, did they uh, did they have someone cooking that day? Yeah, they brought in uh, the restaurant supervisor and the other uh, line cook for the night nighttime. <clears throat> but uh, yeah, so we went to. The good old double D's. I had a few cocktails. Speaking of which, a uh, couple cocktails. The producer finally got to watch. Uh, why am I drawing a blank? Patrick Swayze Roadhouse. Roadhouse. Yeah, she finally watched it. And She's never seen Roadhouse. Nope. What, what the, the fuck? fuck right? well, Roadhouse. Time out. Roadhouse. She Roadhouse. seen like what she says is bits and pieces. Like she hasn't sat and watched the entire thing. Like, okay. You know, she caught it when it was like on, and it was like halfway. Yeah. You know. What if you call my mom a whore? Well, is she? <laughs> be nice. Just be nice. <laughs> but, uh... Also, fuck Oh, it, the Swayze so. days. Uh-huh. <laughs> but now... In about a that week... That was crispy. That was. It is for, crisp. For a wicked, wicked apple. Yeah. So. <laughs> I was just saying, it's not really a beer. Yeah. It's a, <laughs> it's a dually. It's a but, uh... I'm working for Daddy Bezos... Mm-hmm. In about a week, so we'll see how that goes and see all the horror stories that people talk about. They but have whores? Horror. <laughs> I'll, I'll, mean, fuck yeah. I'll, I'll fucking sign up for this job. All the horror, all all the right? horror stories. That's, that's a fucking, now that's a benefit right there, sir. <laughs> now, I, now I know why everyone runs long in the bathroom. Yeah. <laughs> yeah the blue origin. Like Rocket looked like a penis. Like, <laughs> it's like the blue organ. Yeah, <laughs> origin. I mean, origin. <laughs> I don't think you want a blue organ, right? I mean, like that's kind Sounds of like bad circulation. Like blue right? balls is not what you're aiming for. So blue organ, not mm-hmm. not the goal. <laughs> it's too tight. Unless, <laughs> unless your organ blue, and then I feel like that sounds painful. Oh yeah. <laughs> All right, Teddy Bezos. But yeah, um, so like, I've heard the story. I mean, obviously you're not allowed to use, use a phone. Unless it's like emergency or some shit like that, because you need to be able to hear shit. Um, but I don't know. I've never worked in a warehouse. 
Beep. Oh, the beep's not working, so I need someone to come fix the beep. Because <laughs> you have it on silent mode, asshole. <laughs> <laughs> hold, hold the volume button up. <laughs> I just want to know, like, on streets, you know how they have like pedestrian crossings? you got to let me know when you get there. Do the they robot have, crossings? Yeah, do they have like robot crossings? I think it's, it's on like, the ground, though. It's like lanes that are like painted on the ground. Yeah, but I mean, like, are so, they... like if I were, if I go into Stowe, that's where the robots basically are, and they literally are like, it's like a tracker line where they all fucking go and shit like that, and like if one, like if you don't push a box all the way in and it's not taped up, it'll like kind of fuck up the track <clears throat> or the robot's track line where it goes. So someone literally has to like manually stop the robot, go over there, and fucking fix it. I love, how, I love how I love how like Dooley's only done orientation, and they're like, "I swear to God, if you don't push the boxes all the way in, I will fucking kill you." <laughs> I, I haven't even done orientation. I just went for it was literally appointment. They go, "Oh, let's see your background check and do the drug test. If you're good, you're good." And then, go but, to they've, day one. but they've already told you, don't fuck up the like. Make sure the track is clear. Uh-huh. No, that's, like just from got, video, that's just from videos I've seen. Oh, okay. But I was about to say, like, that's like, a weird. That's a weird. Man. You're about to get hired. I swear to God. If you fucking leave one box out two inches too far, though, I will fire you on your first day. I will fucking hunt you down, and I will skull fuck you. (laughs) But, I mean, apparently, uh, orientation is like two hours, and then you train for like an hour, and then they're like, all right, dead work the rest of your shift. And there put, you go. Put this in this box. Yeah, man, it's it's not fucking rocket. Science. Yeah, it's, it's from all the videos I've seen. It's nope, literally. Nope, well, I mean, nope. the, the you're going to work beside me for twelve weeks. Blue Origin <laughs> might be, but you know the the, the Amazon nope. warehouse. That's valid right. point. <laughs> well, at some point, there was rocket science. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, NASA. I gotta, I gotta say, if they start including rocket science in the warehouse, you better clear that track. Yes. No boxes. <laughs> no boxes, no legs, no arms. You better stay off that fucking track. Keep, keep your arms inside the ride. <laughs> How long does it take to get from one end of the warehouse for the, to the other? For your humans or for the robot? Mm, you take it's the, a long walk, but you take, this rocket science yeah, department's really I figured mean, it out. You take the rocket robot track, it'll make it from this end to the other end in like 5.7 seconds. <laughs> Well, I do. When That's I went how you there get for, to the bathroom. When I went there to the, for the appointment, dude, that thing is fucking huge. What do you expect? It's fucking Amazon. Well, I mean, they have It's everything. a warehouse, bro. Yeah, they have the Suffolk one and the Chesapeake one. And, it's and like the Virginia literally... Beach one. Yeah. yeah. And there's probably one in Norfolk. Yeah, I'm like, shit. It's really weird when you think about the name warehouse, but I get it. It's because it's where you store your wares. Yeah. But, like, that, no one uses the term wares anymore. I'm like, what do you have? I'm, I'm displaying my wares. I'm like... My it's supply house. Now I feel like, now I feel like you we have to use wares shit. more often. Like, because they don't... your wares. They don't spell it like, you know... it's playing my wares. It's uh, obviously meant to be like your wares, but... Just like wear your fucking pants. pants. <laughs> I kind of like wish it was truck. spelled differently, like the warehouse. It's like it's cute. Where is it? Is it the warehouse? Like a question. When you're all in the fucking food truck. What type of wear do you want? Do you want a hat wear? A shirt wear? Plastic wear? I got plastic wear. All the wares. All the wares. Got burger wares. <laughs> Cheese steak wares. Philly wares. <laughs> Chicken wares. Chicken wares. Chicken wares. But uh, oh, yeah, I'll definitely give you more updates after all that bullshit this starts. Going to be an interesting podcast. Like as we progress through Dooley's time at the Amazon. Oh yeah, I mean, what'd you do yesterday, Dooley? I stowed like. Do you 7, realize that you're like the only things. one? That doesn't work in the service industry now. Yeah, right. <laughs> Dooley, what'd you do? You got time? out. I mean, that's kind of a, like a goal. Come on, we can call it Dooley's Double D Dishes. Ooh. I told him, man, I pay him $20 an hour to do dishes. One, oh. one hour a week. I well, one meant, hour a day, actually. I just meant, instead of like, you know, the car corner, we can have Dooley's Double D oh. Dishes. It'll be like the 15-minute dish session of <laughs> what happened at Amazon Warehouse this week. Um, allegedly. Dooley Dishes Amazon. <laughs> allegedly. allegedly. <laughs> yeah, I'm not going to have the most amazing weeks Unless it's like after work. Like, oh, yeah, then there was a fight outside with the, two of the robots. Uh, allegedly. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> there is really. This is where battle bots happen, and no one's been telling us the secret. <laughs> <laughs> it's where the nerds build the bitches. It's, <laughs> it's like underground, like where, like in the back of the warehouse at night. It's like all dark, one light bulb, you know, just two robots. <laughs> I was like, going to say, like. Two guys can, like, with controllers, like. <laughs> They're just 30. running into each other. Beep, beep, beep. Beep, beep, beep. Like, like Rock Dur- 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 What is this? Like, lunch break. Uh... What is this? Like every Monday, you, you're rolling around, you see like a, a robot with a fucked up server motor. It's like <laughs> Fight Club for robots. I think, you need a, I think you need a pepper under the fire mac in that little hole right there. Make your little chili pepper. Oh, my. My pins are all fucked up. Oh. 
I was going to say, why? They're going to be able to read this, though. Yeah. Like a menu. I mean, I mean think... it looks exactly like a menu, so I would hope so. <laughs> <coughs> well, you know. Will they be able to, or will they? I like the arrow. Chicken Club. It is literally what's up there, but with extra stuff on this line. <laughs> they still won't get it. Well, also, you, do you, you know you put pickle Pickles. twice? Fried chicken. That's a myth. Oh, but yeah, and you got with is... you got with pickles, and then you got then it's an L top with a pickle. It's we're overanalyzing this. Yeah, because I couldn't. Now it had now chicken. now with more pickles. Chicken, <laughs> all the pickles. All the pickles. Anyway. That's good. Yeah, we'll your see. handwriting is way better than mine. We'll see if they can figure it out. <laughs> nope. Again, I think people can read. They just don't. Don't. It's what not a matter of say? not a matter chicken. of are you able. What is a chicken? <laughs> like, did you club the chicken? Yes, right next to the seals. Yes. That, that you that you find that meat at the butcher shop. <laughs> Only the baby. Speaking chickens. of the butcher shop, well, yeah. how has it been over there this nice week? Segue. <laughs> <laughs> it's not a segue if you talk about it. Yeah, right? it's, it's arm retarded. <laughs> Was it on two wheels? No. To segue, yeah. <laughs> I'm becoming self-aware. I guess only if it balances. I'm self-aware. <laughs> so uh, that, I can that's... feel my toes. Wait, <laughs> well, sometimes <laughs> if he becomes aware, is that part of the warehouse? Ooh, is there an a warehouse? <gasps> I'll let you know. You gotta be aware of the warehouse. I mean, like, right? Like, you can't be walking around the warehouse 13? unawares. I mean, guess what? I can also get my forklift certification. Ooh. Is so, Daddy Bezos also, gonna you, pay for you it? You could also get that at Restaurant Depot. Yeah, I know, right? I know. Those dudes all oh, ass. You yeah. know what? I would be way more <laughs> interested if you could get a propane certification. How about oh, yeah. that? Yeah, <laughs> Fucking, yeah. let's work on that you one. You know damn well that Amazon ain't using no propane. It's all electric. It's all electric. It's, I, would, I was about to say, it's probably all it's Tesla's. All- <laughs> like Tesla forklifts Daddy Bezos and Daddy fucking Musk Like <laughs> teaming up We're gonna use Tesla on everything <laughs> Butcher that, shop That sounds like it a really bad be- perfume Right Butcher shop Bezos Musk <laughs> <laughs> From the butcher shop Oh no, Oh the toilet of Bezos Musk Do not wear it whenever you're hunting <laughs> When oh. the beach is not an option and you are afraid of the sun, Bezos Musk. Why did you call me a bitch? <laughs> <laughs> and the commercial has Johnny Depp in it. Yeah, of course. Right? <laughs> Playing guitar Johnny. for some reason. What the hell is when that? you are broke but you want to smell like money, Bezos right. Musk. <laughs> it was steady last week. Come on. You get Antonio Banderas to do the we commercial? A, I can see it. We had a nice, you know, a, at least Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. Sunday was pretty decent too, but like... Uh, we had the event and everything on Saturday. Finally got y'all out there for an event. I still love how you said that one. I was like, you know, because events usually cost, cost us about 1500 to two grand and everything and sales that we don't get that day. And you're like, oh, we found it. <laughs> yep, we, we found it. It. Was, it was evidently in the parking lot. It was definitely <laughs> in the parking lot, right? It didn't go anywhere. It was still there. It just changed locations in the uh, where in the shopping center. Yeah, fucking. But yeah, it was, it was a good weekend, but at the same time. I'll I'm not, I'm not going to admit that on, on here. Okay. Oh, okay. yeah. I guess I should uh, check the sausages. It's a good possibility. Yeah. Since, uh, since we're talking about the butcher shop, we right. got the sausages. <laughs> sausages. Yes. yes, we got a, jalap- a beef jalapeno bacon cheddar sausage to try today. But uh, and I'm actually looking forward to tomorrow, though, because uh, we're going to a concert tomorrow night. We're going to go see uh, Pop Evil okay. over there at Elevation 27. The old Jewish mother. Yep. So, what'd you say about the Juma? Uh, we're I'm going to Elevation Twenty Seven tomorrow to see uh, Pop Evil. Okay. Yeah. What was it? The Boathouse? I wish the Boathouse was still around. <coughs> that was at the Ocean. Uh, yeah. Yeah. I'm just saying. Yeah. I wish Boathouse. I was someone on Norfolk. Yeah, it wasn't Ocean Front, was it? Yeah, it was like a First Street. Ocean View. <laughs> oh man, not into the microphone. I turn. He's a turn. <laughs> man, turn it. I'm sorry. It was not. I, mean, I turned. I just did nothing to do about that. Uh, yeah. Anyway, beer. Are you, beer? Are you, are you, you got anything else on your week? No. I'm good. Since you stopped yourself, beer. Yeah. So the the, the roulette is, a, is among them. Seems a fruity, sour. Bezos musk. It's got a weird color. <laughs> oh fuck. Pinkish. I'm gonna be on that all day now. Oh, shit. Sorry. Mmm. Chili ramen Bezos musk. There you go. That's the title of this one. Oh yeah. That is uh, not the beer, though. Yeah, I know. Mm-hmm. 
Chili rum and Bezos Musk. I mean, you know what? I could see that being the name of this. <laughs> well, I'm not getting the chili. If you're getting the chili, I'm not getting the chili. No, I talking about your chili ramen. It's kind of a... Uh... I was expecting more of a sour. Yeah. It's kind of like one of those that Dooley brought over, I feel. Like the... Mountain Dew. Oh, the like Bud sour thing or, or like, you know, from uh, Sonic. The Sonic yeah, one. Yeah, the, like the Sonic so- uh, sour seltzer thingy. That's kind of what I'm tasting. I mean, that's... Not really sour, but... Is anyone like... getting salt at the end? Uh, a little salt, a little but I'm getting some coconut in there, too. Ooh, coconut. Yeah. I'm not... I'm not... Uh, yeah, I'm not Gozer or nothing. No. What do you got? Rosé. Mm, Rosé is not terrible because of the color. <laughs> <laughs> rosé Gozé. I mean, it's a little lighter, I think. Than it. It's almost got like an orange hue to it to be Rosé. You know? I'm going Isn't seltzer. there a... Seltzer? Seltzer. Yeah, seltzer is a solid, yeah, yes. Yeah, 5%. No, I've used obviously. I'll give it. A, I'll give that a four. It's pretty good. It's have refreshing. We, haven't we had th- something called Rosé Gozé? Probably. You Did know you how many beers we've had. Been... And you no. know how many we remember. I feel like this no. one might also have a little lactose in it. Uh, I see. I'm. I'm just gonna go with this is like a Berliner Weiss. Ooh, fancy uh, Weiss. Right? Fair, fair. Uh, I already finished my sample. I kind of <laughs> like that cold slaw. I, I'm not. I'm not. <laughs> I'm not sold on this, but I feel like you know. There's like a blueberry, like a like a. I got like a, a soft what berry. You, what if that you, makes what sense. What do you rate it? Uh, I, I'd give that like a a four, but I've only. I mean, in small doses, I don't. Like I don't I, know I, again, if I could do a lot of it. It's a little sweet. For yeah, me. like I again, that's not something I'm going to be drinking all day. But it's I feel like I could, I could definitely really get like it. Having one like like you know after you cut the grass. Yeah, you know, sitting on the front porch. It's an, it's an easy drinker. It's definitely not like. Yeah, there's no harshness to that. Like it's an easy drinker, but again, like I was expecting something more sour from the, from the smell. But right. I, I think Berliner Weiss. Uh, I'd say like a fucking. I think, see, I was gonna stick with a seltzer because five point two, and uh, I'm gonna go with like fourteen IBUs. I don't think you're gonna have IBUs in this at all. Probably not. Um, I would. I mean, I'd give it a, a solid four, <clears throat> four and a half, four point five, if you, you would. Uh, I think that alcohol level is going to be relatively low, like a six or something. What's the matter? Nothing. Cheating? I already guessed. What am I cheating on? Good point. <laughs> Still wait on Dooley. Uh, I'm going to say the uh, pineapple goes. Pernapple. 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 Pin pineapple, apple pin. All right, swinger. So <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, I'd say probably it's going to be like 4.5 ABV. And then I give it a four. IBU fucking... You know. Why does everybody got a pineapple on their front door? <laughs> <laughs> Alright, what do we got? I'm trying to look it up real quick. Okay. Uh, well, do, 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 do. well, he does that. We can talk about the... Uh, um, I mean, I'm open this shit. Oh, yeah, I mean, it's been three weeks. And, I know, right? and like, I even <coughs> moved them to your spot last week. I know, right? New Chex Mix Max. Spicy Buffalo Chex Pieces and Ranch Chex Mix. Okay. I'm interested. Do, 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 do. What do we got? Oh. Ooh, I like the red looking pieces. That'd be the chicken. Kind of got to mix it together, get a pretzel in there. I'm having trouble finding this one because I don't think it is currently on tap. Uh oh. What, what is it? You can tell us what it is, right? Cherry Line Bimmy. Ooh, from who? Big Ugly? Ooh. Is this Big Ugly? I don't know. There's no... Oh, crap. Yeah, I don't know who this one's from. It's either... I mean, it's a Crowler, so who do we get? Is this no. one... Oh. Is this supposed to be a producer beer? Oh, is this... Deadline. Really? Oh, wow. That one's been in there for a minute. I was like, who do we get Crowlers from? Yeah, uh, Deadline. So that's gotta be Deadline. Give me some more. I mean, that was actually pretty good. Hold on just a second. Uh, here, I, I don't know if you're going to find anything can. from Deadline because they're well, closed. I mean, there might be something on like... <laughs> it's been that long. <laughs> well, they closed like... Ooh, that's way too much. I don't know what the fuck I was thinking. <laughs> okay, let, me, uh, let me give you some of that. Uh, that was, I was going to gun this whole thing. There we go. Honestly, from the color, I was kind of <clears throat> at first thinking like pink lemonade. Right. Well, I mean, it's cherry lime. Um... And that was also why when you said the Sonic, I was kind of getting that too because cherry limeade bullshit yeah. that they make. What is a Bimmy? I, that's I'm trying to like. Is that just the name of the beer? Is it? They don't uh, you know obviously have a lot. 
currently well, well, going on. We'll move on. We won't. The world may never know. This this could be the very last of its kind. Right. As we're enjoying it on a podcast for people to listen to, like, wow, those classy bitches. Mm-hmm. They have all the secret beers. Sorry, Lauren. <laughs> secret beers in the world. Shoot sure, on us. Sure, yeah, their their website doesn't really have anything. I was hoping that it, like you know I'd find it on like, like a radio beer finder yeah. or something. You know. Uh, I mean, so like our week <laughs> was interesting. So. Uh, it started off okay, like nothing crazy, you know. Yeah. I forgot where we were in the beginning of the week. The point is, we go to a garage, and we don't find out until, like, you know, we're on our way, to, like, there. That it's, like, one of the bartender's last day. Like, well, I stand corrected. She is now the general manager, or was the general manager. Yeah. And it was her last day. And so they made a pose. Oh, last day, come see. Like, and we're like, oh, shit. Yeah. We are not ready for that. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, we were ready for it, but like, <coughs> we went into the, our we went into our weekend stash a little early, you know, because like, oh, yeah. we were prepped up uh, to go to the <laughs> farmers market uh, for what was it? The uh, what was the festival? Uh, celebrate ag- agriculture. Celebrate agriculture. So, yeah, we went uh went pretty deep into uh, our prep. I know we were supposed to work on Sunday. Well, we didn't. We were. We were waiting on confirmation. Well, no. It was already confirmed. Just, they, we, they just didn't follow through, and like we were like waiting. But yeah. well, that, I mean, <coughs> there was no follow through. They wanted on their side. they wanted to know if we were coming. We let them know that we were coming, but we never heard if they actually got the message. So that's not really confirmation. Well, like, I mean, we could have went, <laughs> but I mean, what were they gonna like? We told you you were coming. Like you said, are you coming? We said yes. Yeah. And then we said no because we would have been restocking like the prep that we did today. We would have done yesterday morning. Yeah. <laughs> I, or did they say are we coming? Because I thought they never reached back out. Like we said, hey, we're gonna come out, and Melissa, then they never said anything. Melissa ended up emailing them. I don't know what happened after that. Like there was a whole conversation happened. I believe, allegedly. Allegedly. So anyway, yeah, the end of the week sucked. Like, it was weird. <laughs> Just like. When we were at the garage, man, it was from the time we opened to like we closed, it was just constant. Yeah. And like, and like at the farmers market, like for the first half hour, hour, hour and a half. Uh, let's go first hour. First hour, we were pretty dead. I yeah. mean, there was a donut truck there, you know. Yeah, we, it's it was breakfast o'clock. time. It's ten yeah. o'clock in the morning, so we expected not to be busy at ten a.m. Yeah. selling yeah. cheeseburgers. Uh, <laughs> they were killing burgers and fillies and mac and cheese. We did sell. We did sell a cheesesteak though at. 10 o'clock in the morning, so there are those people out there. Yeah. We sold a cheesesteak at like 9.57 yeah. <laughs> before the window was even open. Granted, that would probably be my lunchtime, about 10 a.m. You want to try this? No. It's cherry lime bimmy. We're not really sure exactly what that is, but... but it's delicious. So, yeah. can't, even, can't even finish the game, because we have no idea what it actually is. So, the... Uh, at the farmer's market, like, then once it's hit lunchtime, mm-hmm. then it was just on. Yeah. Like, and it's, like, those times where you're just like, damn, I just need, like, a little bit of a break. You know, like, can we, like, chill out for, like, five minutes? Like, <laughs> no. But, yeah. Yeah, we got a couple comments, like, what the hell are you eating back there? I'm like, don't worry about it. <laughs> Like this is my breakfast. We're good. <laughs> we we joked about it. Like we could have we could have competed with the donut truck. We just start throwing eggs on everything. Like it's right. a breakfast burger. It's a breakfast cheesesteak. At the same time, those, <laughs> those donuts are good as fuck. Didn't have one. I heard. <coughs> so, yeah, they're they're yeah they're big as hell they're, though. They're worth every fucking penny. How much are they? Two twenty five. No, mm-hmm. we were close. No, it's not bad at all. Yeah, we were close. I was like, what is it, like two dollars a donut? Like. Yeah. I mean, and, and then if you want, they have like a chocolate dip that they do on it. It's an extra dollar twenty five. But an extra dollar twenty five. Yeah, but like I'm talking like whenever they dip it, it, this is straight melted chocolate. Where you're like you gotta let that sucker sit before, otherwise you're just gonna be covered in chocolate when you try to eat it. So like it hardens, like it's uh, magic shell. Yeah, yeah you put that. some magic shell on a donut, boy. Ooh, we gotta tell work. you what, huh? It wouldn't work. You don't know that if the donut was cold. <laughs> <laughs> Someone can figure out. I mean, I guess it's just chocolate hardening. So, yeah. Never mind. Like, 
You just dipped it in chocolate. Plus, they also do another little, nice little thing. If you pay cash, they pay the tax. So, yeah. mm, that yeah. sounds shady. Yeah, right. This sounds very shady. You pay, pay the tax? Totally. <clears throat> yeah, definitely. That cash transaction that we had, I totally paid mm-hmm. the tax. People were buying like shit tons of donuts though. Yeah, I mean it's twenty bucks for a dozen. But then what's in the little plastic containers? Mm-hmm. What? I think that was like a single donut. Like in the clamshell? In the clamshell? Mm-hmm. Probably, no, because that might have been just like uh, uh, sauces or something like that. They do have like the glazes and everything that look, like you, you can buy some extra and everything. You're yeah. talking about the little clear ones they had, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah I saw somebody walking around with a donut. Mm-hmm. Maybe that's what well, they were uh, putting their one donut it, in. That might be them, or it could have been uh, over uh, on the other side of y'all, like in front of the butcher shop and everything, there was somebody that was selling baked goods and everything out there, too. Mm. Yeah. That is true. I didn't think about, like, you could have gotten those bags from somebody else. Yeah. But, man. Well, hey, we finally came up with a food truck with a... I don't know about a better wrap than ours. But fuck an actual... A, fuck a big as shit. Yeah. Uh, let's just say that they, they have a look. <clears throat> yeah. And and more than likely, one of the few trucks they could keep that it. greatly costed more than ours. Yeah. That, yeah, that thing. How yeah. much do you think that was? I'm I'm, I'm easily saying 150, 200. Yeah. $200,000? Oh, that's what I'm saying. So they're, they, they're three times in it. Like, Dude, you, how many TVs they have on the side of that motherfucker? For three. Just a menu? At least three. One of them was probably like 70 inches. Like, where do you, like, I thought about that. Like, but where would we put it? Like yeah, I mean it would block our window. But you yeah, figure, like, well, I mean their window was only like like what a foot wide. Like yeah, but at the same time they're also pretty much doing nothing but fucking lobster rolls and shit. So it's like oh, you really need <laughs> a steamer and everything. That's I don't know. I was trying to figure out if they had a hood system up there because they had like that little collar that went around the top. Yeah, and I don't know if that was like concealing the hood. Might be because I feel like ours would still you'd still be able to see our hood. We'll see the top part of it at least. Yeah, I don't know. It was a nice truck. Yeah. I'm still trying to figure out how they were on the History Channel, but hey, you know. Uh, look, I'm pretty sure that's just called an ad. I'm pretty sure, too. I paid for a commercial. I was on that channel, though. <laughs> like, shit, we could be on the History Channel. Be on the History Channel today. Right? Bitch, how many stations does NASCAR come on? We could be on a bunch of them at one time. Well, that's true. <laughs> that As seen true. on NBC, ABC, T- WTKR. Like, <laughs> ESPN. Network. Right? Yeah, that's true. As seen on the fucking highlights. You know, I don't know. Like, yeah, my guy wrecked it. He was, yeah. the, he was the guy that wrecked Technically, it. Technically, it was, yeah, you better wreck this motherfucker. <laughs> Why? I want you to flip it. Like, Why? Because I, I need to make sure that we are on every news channel. I want TFA <laughs> to come across the screen like 18 times. That's how many barrel rolls you need to hit. Just TFK, 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 damn. Looks good. Appreciate it. You alive? Yeah. All right, cool. I want you to have one time on one of those rolls, a hang time of four seconds. <laughs> in the air. <laughs> What's that movie uh, with Will Ferrell and the race car driver? Tell it like night. He's like, uh-oh, I'm in the air. That's not good. <laughs> <laughs> we are airborne. <laughs> what were you thinking during the crash? Oh, man, I really want some food from Team Fatkin. <laughs> if you're not first, you're last. It's the best cheese day. All right, let's talk about a topic. These 80, 90 snacks. Yes. I'm a huge... I'm a, I'm a snack food fan. Yeah. I mean, there's not, like, really a... Oh, oh interesting <laughs> photo to bring the uh, yeah. the starter around. I, I prefer the mango ones. Uh, Those were good. The mangoes were the best. Yeah. In the sour version. Oh, anyway, that. guys, we're talking about the Altoids. The, uh, the Altoids sours. Strong yeah. Sours. Yeah. Which, I mean, even the container was a nice switch up. Like, just taking it to round. It, yeah, know? because it wasn't in, like, the rectangle with yeah. the flip top. Yeah. Do they even make Altoids anymore? Yeah. Yeah. Do they make I don't sours? know if they make Sours. No, so, not they sours probably, no. I mean, they probably do. You might just have to Dude, do when I was a kid, something. though, I used to wreck number one all the time. Jello pudding pops. Fuck yeah, man. Those things were amazing, and I'm pretty sure it was just frozen Jello. Yep. Like, I mean, jello pudding. Frozen pudding. There might have been, like, a bunch of crushed up pills in there. <laughs> If you got a good bartender. <laughs> <laughs> Would you like a pudding pop? Uh, oh, uh, Viennetta's? I, I, I haven't had one of those in forever, dude. What? The Viennetta? Viennetta? Like the cake? I, I, guess I don't call know it. if I've ever had that. Um, I'm too young. I've never heard of it. It's... I, 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 are these... Di- <laughs> Words. Yep. Yes, I'm very good. These aren't discontinued, though. Well, I, I mean, don't... You can still get that. I was going to say, I don't think any of these are necessarily... 
Well, I, the those first are one, the first one was probably discontinued. Ah, I love you think these bitches. are discontinued? I have an cream them. savers, the strawberries stra- and cream. I'm willing to bet they're still around. We don't even know what we're talking about. Let's here. go to Walgreens <clears throat> right now. The Dollar Tree. Huh, the uh, now these, bar. these are definitely not around anymore. Yeah. No. And we used to eat these when I was a kid. Those were actually pretty good. Nope. Okay. Oh. Hey, oh, wanna, okay. What did what? you do? I didn't do shit. You did something. But T. Rowe Price really wants me to see his head. I am calling Bezos. Oh, hit, yeah, there you go. Hit I the button. Gonna call Bezos. Good. All right, there we go. Don't shut down Rinker. <laughs> uh, so these are these are these are the ones that we want them to have a comeback. Yeah. yeah. Okay. But I I can agree with the kudos. Yeah. But I mean, there's so many versions now, like the kind bars and all that stuff. Yeah. Philadelphia cheesesteak snack bar. Cheesecake. Oh, the producer wants these to yeah, come back. Sorry, yeah. I said cheesesteak. Cheesesteak. Yeah. What, what I'm saying, it's lunchtime, guys. Cheese, That's what I'm thinking about. Cheesesteak snack Red bars, bars right? You definitely check uh, The Butterfinger BBs. <laughs> I haven't seen those in a long know, time. Right? Uh, that one I am kind of curious if they still have around, but. I do not believe so. I, yeah, I, I, I kill for those. I haven't BBs. seen those in like 15 years. Oh my god, yes. Pizzerias. The pizzeria chips. Dude, seriously, these these things had the best overall flavor over every single chip. It's just weird that it was Keebler. Yeah. <laughs> of all things, like, okay. But do oh, the cheese pizza ones? The Taco Bell Double Decker Taco. Just that wrapper screams, like, 90s. Yeah. Well, you could make that yourself, though. The yeah. The Double Decker Taco? I do it all the yeah. time. <laughs> Bubble Yum. Bubble Yum's still around, though. I mean, again, not all of these. I, I think this is more of like, are they going to make a comeback? Yeah. I feel like you, now you find bubble yum in like the bubble tape. You know what I mean? Like, right, yeah. yeah. Like they just make it in the round. Yeah. Oh, these did make they, a comeback for a little while. They had them at uh, McDonald's. Well, that was, for the, it was yeah. for the movie, wasn't it? Yeah, it was when yeah. the, the fucking... Uh, the new movie came out? Not the new one, the ladies. other one. The ladies version. Yeah. I think that's delicious. The Ecto Cooler. I think Which it was, was fruit juice. Yeah, it was good shit. I, I swear I had them like not too many years. Oh, ago. this one's making a comeback right now. Dunkin' Riz. That's the cinnamon grand ones, so. though. But yeah, that was a good one. What are you yeah. talking about? Oh, the fucking know. vanilla, uh, fucking birthday cake ice cream, or icing. What was the yeah. like one you brought over here the other day? That, like shortening. Like, it, like, no, it was like orange sherbet. That yeah, was weird. Yeah. That was weird. <laughs> shark <laughs> bites. Yeah. yeah. So it's just a shark, like gummy. Yeah, like, it was like. Yeah. It was like the... You but know. you remember, like, everybody had, like, a fruit snack. Yeah. yeah. Like, there was, like, yeah. a whole fruit snack. Come on, oh, the sharks were good. We meant to, we forgot to tell the producer that we were in the Kroger the other day, and they had every Gatorade Zero you could possibly imagine. Oh, really? Yeah, like, like, a wall of it. Like, it was... Half an aisle of Gatorade Zero. Just, they, they also had the... Oh. Which Kroger? The one on Holland. Go there Behind the banky bank. Uh, honey um, nut clusters. That's a good one. I don't remember that one. I remember those. I mean, I had those. I mean, they were all right. I got nothing against them. I only liked the cluster stuff. Yep, number fourteen. Here we are. Sour. <laughs> I Altoids. didn't like. I didn't like the honey nut. I like the cluster. I like the raisin bran crunch now. <laughs> yeah. The raisin she like the, the branch. Why the does cluster. that can look like it's old as shit? I, I, yeah, yeah. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I, I. It looks like it's like I found this in the wild west. Oh, you got you got that you got the, that uh, Copenhagen oh, in the back Snapple? of your head? No, that's for my Altoids, bro. <laughs> Snapple elements. Yes. Oh, I do remember. Those, those. are like they're, the they're Sobe back. styles. They're too. back. I've heard something about some, somebody had uh, posted a picture is uh, fire, wind, and water. No oh, earth well, yet. No. Elements. Yeah. No, no earth. No one wants to drink dirt, Alex. We well, want to drink wind. Could be grass, bro. <laughs> Bring me back my Sobe. I, dude, I was just about to say, I saw a Sobe cooler the other day. Like yeah. a refrigerator. It was like out back of a restaurant. Let me get my spicy water. <laughs> <laughs> spicy milk. Fire water. Spicy water. Ooh, Oreo cake stir. I, I still have not had one. I haven't really? either. I've never had a cake stir. We talked about deep frying them for a while. Those would be awesome. And it would be expensive as shit. Yes. Number 17. Joke Cola. Oh my God, yes. Wow, that went straight through my ears. Yeah, yeah. I lost one. Yeah, yeah. Um, so so, Joke Cola, like that hasn't been around in forever. It's no, it's illegal in Virginia. Now. It didn't need to be around. I said it doesn't need to be now. It's so good though. There's so many like <laughs> OK it helped, it helped, Soda. It made it helped me drive from California to Virginia Beach in two and a half days. Damn. I wonder, yeah. like, is this Oklahoma soda? Is <laughs> yeah. this just OK soda? Is this you know what's, what? Was it's like not. The, it's not great. What's with the art? Like, uh, I don't know. How good is soda? Okay. okay. I mean, it's, it's not great. It's not great. <laughs> All right. Well, that's it. Yeah. I mean, I could, you know, Dunkaroos. I'm on board with that one. Spice. Well, 
Any any the, fruit juice shit. fine with me. Yeah. The pudding pop. Yeah. I mean, it, obviously, the, pudding, we need the pizzeria different... chips. Oh yeah, from Keebler. Yeah, yeah, yeah those were good. You missed the double dark, uh, double decker taco. Fucker. You were inside for that one. The double decker taco. Yep, that was on the snacks. Yeah. Oh, did he do it all at once? What? Oh, Lucien no. Formichella. <laughs> yeah, I he... ate my way through the entire Taco Bell menu and ranked everything from worst to best. I feel again. Did you do like? Was this? Is this like a week long venture? Or was it was just like, a, all right, it's Tuesday. I mean, I could probably do half the menu I could. in one sitting. <laughs> yeah. And then, yeah. And then, like, all right. Uh, I'm going to uh, need tomorrow off. Especially yeah. on a good day. Good day. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Drinking. And tomorrow uh, I'm going to do the other half. Uh, then I'm going to need to go see a doctor. Um, <laughs> <laughs> it burns. <laughs> everything. You should everything. probably have that look everything at Everything just tasted like Diablo. I don't yeah. know why. Do you have any hemorrhoid queen? They, why? Do you have hemorrhoids? They no. They have black beans at Taco Bell? Not they don't look like that. Anymore. This is just like, so, back in the day, a side of black beans. <laughs> this is the only dish that could have occupied this spot. This Number is the worst four. item. I find the Taco Bell black beans watery. Although they tasted okay, all things considered, I couldn't myself, see myself ordering them as a side. So, I mean, they have black beans, obviously, so the, you can just get a side of black um, beans. Right? Beans and rice? This is a thing? Yeah. yeah. So I guess, you know, yeah, so you can get beans. I knew about the beans and rice. And cheese. Yeah. Okay. You can scroll through this. Just keep yeah, going. Yeah, it's, it's, okay, we so. don't need to see the photos. Bean burrito came in at number 51. Oh, shit. There they are. Black beans. Yep. Holy shit. Crunchy, crunchy beef, beef taco. See, I feel like that is underrated, <laughs> man. <clears throat> the crunchy beef taco should not be like 50, 49 or whatever. I do kind of 50. agree with that. Uh, with not you, a, not... Maybe because it's not a Supreme. There you go. Ooh, yeah. Okay. Soft taco so came in think, at 49. So you think the Supreme's going to be the same taco? They're just going to rank higher? Oh, Beefy five-layer oh, burrito continuing. I don't agree with that. Good. Is that like Cheesy wheat? bean and rice burrito. I mean, we're probably going to have like three burritos in a row. Chips and nacho cheese. Wait, chips and nacho cheese came higher than like taco. Yeah. I don't know how. Yeah. Anyway. And that is garbage, too. Like, yeah. I mean, I, I I do have a soft spot. Cinnamon twists. For, which came out like in the 90s when Batman came out. Um, nacho fries. How did, like, really nacho fries that's came sad. out? Of, like, that's all right. Yeah, yeah, that's what you got. Like, that is the picture. Yeah, it keeps um, rolling. Keeps and, rolling. And you shouldn't call them nacho fries if you just put in, like, a side of melted cheese next that to them. It doesn't even sound good. Black bean, crunch, no. crunch wrap, supreme. When you say nacho fries, I oh, want, like, the... that's why they have the black bean. Chipotle ranch grilled chicken burrito. I'm, I'm going to agree with that. That's that fucking good. good. Crunchy taco. You know what? Can you just scroll down to the bottom? Because now I just want to know yeah, these guys like top one? twelve. You know? Yeah, Can we just get, get to the, the top, top ten 12. or something? Like the uh, I'm still on like if what? you're gonna call it what 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 happened? Nothing. Keeps you going. saw something Dorito or yeah. something. Yeah. Dorito loco <laughs> taco. Yeah. yeah. So the uh, yeah like the Bel Grande. Like if you're gonna call something nacho fries, oh, just make the Bel Grande breakfast. with French fries. Right. Like that's what we want. Not. Not, not French fries with nacho cheese powder. Yeah, or no, it's not even nacho. Is it nacho cheese powder on the fries? I don't know. I don't order them. And then it comes with like just like the little black ramekin of like it's like tacos. melted it's like, crappy cheese. It's like yeah. tacos. All right, top yeah. twelve. Slow down. Do top we? twelve. Here we are. All right, so Crunchwrap Supreme came in at number twelve. I mean, I, I do like the Crunchwrap Supreme. Stop punching the microphone, Dooley. It's okay. The you. breakfast Crunchwrap sausage, which I highly fucking disagree with, because <laughs> you actually had this. Uh, I'm, not even, I'm not even against the breakfast stuff, but that sucked. So number eleven, my ass. Cinnabon delights at number ten. See now, I, I don't believe that should have. Okay. I mean, the Cinnabon delights being there we the. Go. Nacho Cheese Doritos lo- Locos Tacos Supreme. Wow. I need to say that again. <laughs> right. Nachos Nach- Cheese Nacho <laughs> Cheese Doritos Locos Tacos Supreme. Uh, cheesy the cheesy roll-up at number eight, wow. really? Yeah. Like, that's uh, what you think is in your top eight? Wow. Like, I mean, really? I, I get one, like, almost every time I go to Taco yeah. Bell. Because that's your road snack, dude. That's, yeah. like, that's like walking around bacon. You yeah. know what I mean? Like, <laughs> Hash brown toasted breakfast burrito with sausage. Guy likes his breakfast. I mean, I'll be honest with you, their breakfast isn't that bad. I just wouldn't go for what he's putting Well, up. I mean, if you go to McDonald's and you get a breakfast burrito, why wouldn't you just go to Taco Bell to get a breakfast burrito? Yeah. Well, see, that I'm with, but I'm, I'm not, I don't know. The hash was that browns. on the Chalupa Supreme? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Chalupa Supreme I do with like six. Those. Hash browns in their breakfast sucks. That's all I'm saying. Anything that I got without hash browns was great. The That's chicken like, quesadilla was at number five. Just plain is there, chicken is there, quesadilla. Is there, not a, is, that, is there another chicken quesadilla? Like, is there a chicken quesadilla Supreme or something? Don't no. think so. 
Uh, and how number, the hell is the cheese quesadilla beat Coming at number four. Yeah, beat the chicken quesadilla. The number three is a double steak grilled cheese burrito. Uh, oh, that good. one is good. Yeah. Number three is the steak quesadilla. So I guess this guy really likes his quesadillas. And then Ooh. number one is the spicy double steak grilled cheese burrito. So apparently... See, this is like one man's, you know, I feel like... Yeah, I don't trust his opinion that much. Yeah. 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 Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> to everyone who enjoyed my next while. It involved more than one stomach ache. See, you should have done it all at once. It just take just it regret your entire way. weekend. You know, I never should have done that. I, I mean, just sound very disappointed. I really <laughs> do. I really do like Taco Bell leftovers. Yes. <laughs> Especially like the like, like cold tacos or even like like the beef yeah. burritos and everything. Those are perfect when it's first thing in the morning and everything. Yeah. Do you heat them up or you just go cold? Cold and then uh, a bunch of fire sauce. <coughs> mm-hmm. Taco Bell fire sauce or Team Facket fire sauce? Before I break my keys, that'd be great. Yeah. <laughs> well, if I I need to get more fire sauce. So, so let's talk about the, the, your, the adventures of 13th level of hell that you... Uh, oh, yeah. yeah. Uh, finally, got a, finally was able to get a bottle because you know, the truck was at the butcher shop, at the farmer's market and everything on butch Saturday. Shop, butch shop. At the butch shop. Butch shop. But, uh... Put it on my uh, triple P, which was fucking delicious. And then I was like, "All right." I like, got... so the level of heat wasn't too much. Like, how much did you put on? This there is first? Dennis we're talking about. I, so I, I mean. get that. That's why I said, like, how much did you put on there? Like a little devil. Do you did it pour nice? Was it easy to get out of the jar? You gotta shake it a little bit and everything. Like it Heinz, up. like ketchup. Yeah. You gotta. You need, we need to like put a fifty-seven on there. Yeah, yeah. You gotta you know, <laughs> popping them back and everything on that bad boy. Um, but yeah. I, I'd say probably about a good tablespoon full. Tablespoon? Yeah. Okay. And then, you know, move around so that way it covers up. You got so space. did it taste like a chili cheese sauce? Because I find, like, if you yeah. mix fire in the bacon cheese sauce, it kind of has, like, a hot dog chili cheese yeah. flavor. Which is so weird. You're right. Well, I mean, I mean it's like, good. It's, it's, it's chilies yeah. and it's cheese. Yeah. Uh, chili cheese. <laughs> yeah, still. Like, I, it's amazing how much they go, they, it they tastes pair perfectly together. Like chili. <laughs> like, uh, it tastes like a queso. I mean, it would be a delicious queso because yeah. we've done it. Um, it like we've brought like nacho chips to the truck, yeah, and then make like makeshift nachos. You put like the nacho, like a bacon cheese sauce, a little yeah. fire sauce, lettuce, tomato, sour. We got everything. Yeah, know. we just know how to do <clears> chips. Yeah, <laughs> but, uh, introducing queso Bezos mask. And I, I was like, cause I've, I've had the you know the fire sauce and everything on the on the. Best Philly, and it's always good. So I'm like, all right, I want to try it with a 13th level of hell. So that's why I got the the best Philly and everything for dinner that night. Whenever I got back from the bar, well, and I was like, hey, you know, my buddy hasn't been able to try the 13th level yet, and everything. He he's like me, or when he comes to chilies and everything. So I was like, all right, I'll take it up there just on the off chance he's going to be there. He shows up on, he the, tr- on the off chance that my buddy that I hang out with the bar is going to be at the bar. You never know. Sometimes he doesn't show up, but hey, like like are we talking like. Out of like the thirty days, he's, like he's not there like five. He's there at least about fifty. But yeah, so he, you fifty fifty shot is yeah, what you're talking f- about. Yeah, okay. fifty fifty shot. But uh, <laughs> he tries it and he's like, "Damn, this is good." And I'm like, "Yeah." And he's like, "How much you pay for that bottle?" I was like, twenty bucks." All of a sudden, that motherfucker pulls out a twenty dollar bill and fucking him takes the bottle. I'm like, "What the fuck, bro?" Like, this I is, just got. I that. just got this bottle today. Like, <laughs> well, tomorrow you can do it again. <laughs> so. Before I leave today, I need to grab another bottle of 13 level. Whew, I man, this say, that's... <coughs> I'm sorry, I'm out. I know what it is. Like, you paid, you're, you paid taxes on that. I know. should have been like, bro, it's 23. No, it's, <laughs> it's 23. Tax is high. And I bought it in Norfolk. <laughs> <laughs> the tax. It's horrible. This? Mm-hmm. You tried it? Mm-hmm. I wouldn't expect you to like it. No. You should have tried the oh. other one. The other one, like, try the big can. The big can is good. You'd really like the big can. Yeah, you would. Damn, you went. I mean, I knowing the name of it, I don't think it's that bad, but, yeah. Anyway. You are gonna, I've had it gonna before, like I know. It really is. That one's, a, is that one's a, an easy drinker. This is a Guapo. No. That is good. Yeah. I don't know. This all right, like let's say, like, okay, so Definitely it's an IPA. Yeah. Smell. We can all agree that it's an IPA. IPA. Yeah. I smelled it and thought it was going to be like an apricot sour or something, and I took a sip, and it was not. <laughs> <laughs> and I haven't recovered yet. <laughs> Do we have any apricot sours? I'd really like one. 
It does have an apricot. I mean, like, I, 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 I see where she's coming from, but yeah, it definitely doesn't it's, drink like one. No. Nope. It kind of smells like... Like a hot vomit. It's you know? like, yeah. I mean, it's like, it's like thick on the hop. <laughs> like, like, you know, the hot snack when you burp, you got like a little fucking, you know, a little reflux in the back of your throat. It's, it's not like, it's beer. not like over, oh. it's not bitter like over the hop, but it's like thick on the hop. Does that yeah. make sense? Yeah. Like, it's almost like viscous. Like, the, I don't know. Yeah. Like, it's, it's viscous. hanging around. It's hanging it's around. It's a little viscous. It's uh, not overly right. bitter, but it's, it's hanging. It's not terrible. I'm for it. It's strong, though. You're going for it? I'm going for it. What you got? El Guapo, 6.5% ABV, 45 oh, IBUs, and I'm giving that a fucking two. Okay. Ouch. And he called it El Guapo, so he loses like 300 fucking points. If he's not. Thousand. Thousand. Three thousand. I would know, because I have lost multiple. <laughs> Okay. I mean, he's either going to win or he's going to lose. We're only doing like two beers, so you yeah. know, I mean, like, he's either going to get it or he's not. Okay, so it's an IPA. I think it's gonna be high like at eight percenter maybe i'll say i'll go 8.5 ipa 8.5 um ibus i don't think it's bitter it's viscous but, yeah. See, yeah again i don't, I don't think, think it's like bitter but it bites a little i'll give it it's almost like there's some sort of fruit in there though but i don't want to call it a fruity ipa yeah but I mean, I think a, I think the IBUs. I'll, I'll go like thirty-five. Mean a juicy or a hazy or New England, yeah, something like that. <laughs> uh, and I give it. I mean, it's easier to drink like as you continue to drink it. I feel, but I don't think I could do more than one of those. I give it a three. I'm gonna say, uh, just fucking IPA. I really can't fucking put my thumb on it, but <clears throat> I'll give it a six percent ABV. IBU fucking 30 and I give it a 3 I'm gonna need you to look this up Dennis did not win well I knew it was not Dennis, guapo Dennis did not win I had a guapo like 3 days ago okay well at the same time I'm st- I, 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 I like Flying certain dog. IPAs oh I'm gonna, get, I'm gonna get in trouble for this one nuclear smile oh shit this is a Hazy double IPA. Yeah, ooh, that means it's like 12. It's 10%, okay. Uh, okay. and it looks like 20 IBU. Yep. So, again, not really, like, I feel like the the bitterness is not strong, the, the label, but it does I mean, the seem to hang around. Great, but the artwork is always great with Flying Dog. Yes. Uh, it's got kind of like a... Like Jokerish? Yeah. From uh, Dark Knight? Yeah. Grab your socks and prepare for impact. This hazy double hits harder than a splitting atom. Feel free to party like it's the end of the world as we know it. Because even if it is, who cares? After a few of these, nothing will ever wipe the smile off your face again. I don't know about that, but okay. 10%, huh? I was close at 8. Not bad. Not bad. It's, I, again, like, obviously you probably don't want to drink a bunch of 10%ers. So yeah. By the way, I'm going to pass <laughs> the know. bottle around. Not just because... Uh, to uh, have a quick time. It's very <laughs> hard to see on the... <laughs> Small photo that you have on the screen, mm-hmm. but if you look at the actual clock or watch, like I think it's a watch. Orange kind of vibe. Well, look, look at the top left side of the clock. There is a some detail there that just I don't want to spoil. What the doomsday clock? No. Once everybody looks at it, we'll talk about it. That way, anyone that's listening knows what we're talking about or Ooh. looking at. But like, it's just the added extra detail of what looks oh, to be nice. someone, uh, you know, getting. I love their oh, wait. Yeah. Is that a clock or a compass? I think it's so a it's, clock, like a watch. Yeah, like a. It looks like someone holding on to like a watch face and then yeah. getting their head bit off. They say looking where? Look at the. Let me look. Look. Do you okay, see? Yeah. Do you see arms? <laughs> no, I don't see any arms. Looks like a body over the over the watch there. Like, I was looking. Looks at like that. they're getting their head bit off while holding the watch. I don't know. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I was looking at that and I was like, "What are you talking about?" Yeah, that's a. That's a rough yeah. one. I again. It's not. Terrible, but I don't think I could do a lot of it. You, New, you, you that can is go not, ahead and uh, finish that. One. That's yeah, not a day yeah, drinker. Kill. I'll put it to you like that. That is not a day drinker. No, that's that's that, a night that, finisher. Uh, it depends on like how you're trying to do your day. I uh, are you trying to <laughs> are you trying to be awake at night? That's that, that, not a day that, drinker. This is the last one before you go to bed after you left the bar already. <laughs> <laughs> I love uh, how I don't, I don't know, man. Like if after, after you leave the double D's, I do love and you how go home. I'm pretty sure. I just want to go to bed. Right. I do love how even oh, Untapped has given bit. up on trying to like 
quantify what kind of IPA it is. It's a hazy. It's a New England. It's both. Fuck it. Look, yeah. just, uh, you guys name some shit. It's it, it's the yes. Yes. It's a it's an imperial double New England or hazy. Yes. Which imperial or double are the same thing, and then yeah. New England or hazy are the same thing, and yeah. then you guys for optimal freshness, we should have enjoyed this on one twelve twenty three, or a little late. <laughs> <laughs> Let's be honest. That's probably not bad for some of our beers. <laughs> yeah, I mean the rotations. Uh, we've we've been trying I to mean, clear that fridge out for a minute uh, now. Like, uh, uh, cherry lime. <laughs> yeah. they, 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 they're yeah. down, cherry lime, Billy. Yeah. When, how old do you think that one is? Uh, how long have they been closed? Like last winter. Then at least like six past, months. They closed like this past winter, so it's six months. Yeah. When did we go there? Deadline probably a year ago. It closed. Yeah. yeah. I didn't know that. Really. Because we've had multiple conversations about it. They're moving locations. They don't know where they're going. They haven't found a location. He wants to stay in that area, so he's not going to be able to reopen. Because and he can't find anything that's affordable. Yeah, uh, I mean, no shit. <laughs> you're you're you, on Shore Drive. Yeah. Well, you left the you left the location you were in, which was not. A bad it location. wasn't bad, but it certainly was not high end. And you think you're like. You left that location because it cost too much. You think you're going to find something better? See, I think like with that restaurant opening in front of him would have only brought him more business. Yeah. Because the the Italian restaurant that's opening in front of him has a great name in the area. Yeah. They've uh, been there for a while. Well, mm-hmm. they were down the street, right? Yeah. yeah they like, moved over, yeah. Still, I mean, I don't know. I don't. We obviously don't know what the terms of the lease were or how much sure. any of that, that costs. And, but Speculating. I do think They're he's going to... very gonna, good at speculating. I do think he's going to have some trouble... If he wants, if that's what, yeah, cheaper. if that's what he's looking for, then no, I don't yeah. think he'll be fine. I thought he was going to move locations. Like, we're going to go to like the other side of Virginia Beach Boulevard somewhere, or no, you no, know, no, nope, like, nope, nope, nope. You know you're wrong because you know anybody on that side of the boulevard is not crossing that street. We don't know if he's from Virginia Beach. That's, that's true. true. He might be a driver. Because I'm from Norfolk and I'll cross Virginia Beach Boulevard all the fucking time. But yeah, you find somebody from Virginia Beach and be like, "Hey, you want to go out to Shore Drive?" Like, no, bro. Whoa, whoa, That's too whoa, hard, man. whoa! I'm like whoa. courthouse area. We don't, we don't, we don't Shore Drive it. Like, you're lucky if you I go to the ocean front. I was gonna right? say, you want to go to the ocean front? Is it past the interstate? Like, people, like did, are we going people, past Twenty Third Street? It's too people far. People in Pongo go to Sandbridge. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> people <clears throat> who are like out in like you know the ocean front, obviously they stay at the ocean front. People on Shore Drive, they go to the bay. You know, yeah. like if you want to go to the "Quote unquote beach, like that's how it happens in Virginia Beach. Like you know, it's a peninsula. Like we got three sides. You know, like we're not we're not driving to the bay. Like, <laughs> you're on short drive. But it doesn't you're even have to be the beach. beach. That's about it. You just be like, yeah, you want to go to this restaurant? Where is it? Short drive. Like whoa. This, I mean, dude, I don't how know, about man. this? If you go, you can bring me something back, right? Like. You're going traveling. I mean, I don't have all day. I just love that though. Like, you talk to somebody from like Suffolk, Chesapeake, Norfolk, Portsmouth. Like, yeah, where, where do you work? Ah, I work in Virginia Beach. I work in Hampton. I like we drive like 45 minutes. Like it's nothing. And people from Virginia Beach, which is like the largest, it's not the largest city, but it's it, certainly the yeah, largest, yeah. most populated city in the area. And people are like, whoa, whoa, more than 10 minutes. Ah, uh, mm, I don't know, man. That's, it is definitely like quartered off. Yeah. Like I don't even know what the people in Kentsville do. See, I, I don't. I don't go there. You were talking about Pungo. <laughs> like my whole thing is like people in Virginia Beach don't want to drive ten or fifteen minutes. But if yeah. you live in Pungo or Sandbridge, you can't get to anything in less than ten or fifteen minutes. Yeah. Uh, yeah. It, if you're at the weird. end of Sandbridge, you ain't getting to shit in fifteen it is minutes. Weird, like how many different areas yeah. of Virginia Beach there are. Like, and they are like. But that is true, though. It's like if you live on that I side mean, of the boulevard, it's like you, don't the cross, you don't. Yeah, you don't cross the boulevard. It's like the boroughs in New York. Yeah. Like, dude, I ain't going to Kentville. Shit. <laughs> Like, that's when you go to fucking Yonkers. Like, what the fuck? You're like, I don't even know what that means. That was actual New York. Yeah. <laughs> not Kempsville, you know. Yeah. Like, I don't know what Yonkers is. Like, it's a borough. Is it a, that's not a borough. Yeah. Yonkers? Yeah. So that's one of the five boroughs. Yeah. Look, I'll, I got you right now. It's Manhattan, the Bronx, Harlem. Yonkers is not one. Queens. I mean, look. We already I'm tried to name. There, all, we we already that. tried to name all seven doors. More. Long Island, the Yonkers. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> the one you can't name is Yonkers. Uh, shit. Yonkers uh, might be a nickname for something, but yeah. it is Queens, Brooklyn, Manhattan, the Bronx, and Staten Island. Staten Island. I said Long Island. Anyway, it's Stupid. Island. Stupid. Stupid. Damn. Y'all, do you feel better now? <laughs> a little. A little. 
I mean, we couldn't name the fucking seven doors. We better. We can't even get the five <laughs> boroughs of New York. To be fair. To be fair. To be fair. I like how the headphone cut back on in the middle of that. It's because I slapped it. Uh, <laughs> Yonkers is a city on the Hudson River. It's in Westchester County, New York. So it is not a borough. It is not a borough. So is Yonkers, New York? Yeah, that's an that actual is like city. The dumbest yeah. name of a city I've ever. Well, I'm pretty sure there's number. No, oh, there's. I mean, number. there's like Intercourse, Pennsylvania. Uh huh. <laughs> and by the way, it is not at all part of the boroughs. Okay. Even though Yonkers is not part of the bur- boroughs, it borders the Bronx, uh, and definitely shares the urban and vibrant vibe of this borough. Wait, did stats get something wrong? <laughs> Where was... to be fair? To be fair. Yeah, I was, yeah, I was right. <laughs> to be fair. The last time he was there, it might have been one of the bros. I mean, man, that was like three hundred years ago. Oh. Like, like, like what was it? The gangs in New York and shit. Uh-huh. It was like, where the you Dennis were, where was you, the butcher of New York. Butcher. He was the butcher the of butcher. New York. Nope, he was a rabbit. Oh, <laughs> there's a rabbit. It's okay. I, I where was the, where was the nanny? The, huh? the the TV show, the nanny. Where was that film? Like, it's like are you Fleshings? talking? Are you talking about with Fran Drescher? Yeah. yeah where's Fleshings? She went. She was from Flushing. Flushings, Flesh. To... Flushing sounds kind of gross when you think about it. Oh, well, Flushings, New York. Yeah. Flushings or Fleshings? Flushing. Uh, sounds like a shithole. Also, it's a neighborhood in Queens. Oh. So Queens, and then she went to like Manhattan or whatever yeah. to the work. Multicultural Flushing is home to the city's largest Chinatown. Hmm. Well, With bustling we sidewalks. From, well, I thought we went from Virginia Beach. Oh, I'm not going to be canceled. Uh, Yonkers, New York. York. We went to Yonkers. All right. Well, because like, do you think the people like uh, obviously they do, but they travel by like you know train and stuff. Subway, so, well, yeah. Yeah, like we I mean, like, no one wants to go. Like if you're in Queens, no one wants to go to the Bronx. Well, no one wants to go to Harlem. So just, I, I don't think just anybody, anybody wants in to go Harlem, Harlem wants to be in Harlem, let alone people want to go there. Just a quick note, because <laughs> now that we're into it, Flushing, New York, was actually named for the Flushing River or the Flushing Creek that it was uh, ne- like ne- around. Okay. But now I really want to know why was it called Flushing Creek? Because they're back into like the days of the East India Company. Like, was it called Flushing Creek? Because that was just like that was the creek. You know what I mean? Because it was constantly flowing, so people went well, yeah, over there. Like, that's where it. that's where the refuse went. Get rid of it, right? Like, all right. They, they took was... a fat shit in there. <laughs> where is it? It's in Flushing's, New York. It's in <laughs> Flushing's Creek. Chili ramen. Don't look at me. <laughs> you don't even have to flush. Just stand in the water. <clears throat> it's coming out like lava. <laughs> <laughs> I am knee deep, and somebody is upriver. <laughs> <laughs> oh. oh, that is. Oh, fuck. Did it just get warmer? I'm just doing a tango. Just doing a tango. <laughs> it's like Frogger. You're just dodging logs, dude, that are coming down the... <laughs> somebody, what are you eating? Hey, somebody else had the spicy ramen, too. <laughs> <laughs> I had a bad oyster. Oh, no. <laughs> I'm out. <laughs> and for that reason, I'm out. I am out. <laughs> All right, six table etiquette tips you might not know. I feel like we did this one. Did we? If it uh, if it if it involves the uh, where to put your silverware when you're done eating, we've already done this. Well, one. it's only six, so we'll make it quick. When it comes to silverware, work from the outside in. I think that's a standard rule. Um, also, I would. That is a lot of silverware. a lot of knives. Yeah, that's a lot of knives. Like, obviously, like your dinner knife, your you your, your bread pokey knife. pokey knife. You got your other knife, and then you got your yeah. What's, knife. Is that like for the cheese course, the one with like the little? That's what I'm guessing. Like at the top, yeah. Because your butter knife is clearly on the butter saucer, yeah. right? Yeah, on the B and B plate. Yeah, and your the bread dessert, and butter your dessert, plate. Your dessert's at the top, like your dessert fork and spoon. Yeah, I'm just trying There's to. There's a lot out. of courses about what do we, to happen here. Yeah, right. Like, look at the fourth wine or the fourth wine, the fourth glass. What is? Is that like a fucking brandy? I do believe. That maybe no. Nope. That, that one. That's one. like that's a that's brandy. A, that's a snifter. That's right. Cognac. Champagne flute. Right. Uh, the the. I'm trying to wonder what the big ass one for. Uh, that's your uh, Just, red wine. That's the ass wine. Red. It's, it's tough to tell from this red angle. Is red, the, you can't, red is the bigger. One, red right? is the bigger. And red is supposed you, to breathe. White is supposed to be smaller at the top. Right which there. that's probably the white wine glass. That's your champagne flute in the middle. Yeah, best guess. Uh, Snifter, and then I mean, that's your aperitif. I could be your water glass. It's re- again, it's really hard to tell from the top oh. down. They're not very. That is true. Uh, but 
Um, just so y'all know, this is the plate. Well, actually, I was that trying to figure a, out that is a soup bowl. I was yeah. about to say that looks like a bowl, see, not a plate. See, I can't tell. Yeah, it's it's a big rimmed soup bowl. Yep, cup. Yep, that's fifty dollars. All right. Yeah, that is, whatever they're about to eat is going to be I also, stupid expensive. Scroll back up just real quick. <laughs> While we're looking at this picture, I want to note one thing: whoever did this clearly did this shit at home. Yeah. Because although the silverware and the setup looks very nice, they have it on like. Oh. A brown napkin. Yeah, it's like beige on beige. Uh, on a, like, yeah. on like a, and this is like it's, your. It's, it's this not, is like your island counter. Like I'm gonna take a picture real quick. Like, <clears throat> it's a placemat, not a napkin. It looks like burlap. That is true. That which makes me believe it's a placemat. I sure. We're a fancy five course dinner farmhouse. Boom. All right. Okay. And this person would definitely be like someone that's entertaining a lot because who the fuck has knives like this? All I'm saying is like whatever is about to go down is going to take workers. a long time and it's going to be expensive. <laughs> it's like we're going to be here for a couple hours. Why? Because there's like four courses of beverages. And you, you got to let everything breathe. Uh, right. Maybe maybe four. I guess it depends on if it was water or not. Put your napkin on your lap. Well, okay. Uh, okay. Yeah. So who doesn't know that and why? <laughs> Napkins eventually developed into the room. Yeah, blah, blah. Wait, on, Wait the, on the bread. Uh, for your, uh, by your the butter. time the entree arrives at a restaurant, everyone's eating their fill of bread. But a formal uh, at, at a formal dinner, the bread is to be eaten with the courses rather than by itself. That is true. Like, Cause bread is, like when doing up, banquets yeah. in like hotels, like the bread comes with the entrees. To avoid confusion, the bread plate is to your left. <laughs> Consider adopting the continental style. Freedom! The American method of using eating utensils is often very different from the continental or European method, method which can lead to some confusion, uh, confused looks on the either side of the Atlantic. Each style is correct, but one may be more appropriate depending on the setting. Is this to hold the fork in your left hand versus the right hand yeah. and also uh, tines down versus tines up? Continental style is to hold the fork in your left hand with the tines facing down. The knife is held in the right, uh, right hand. The index finger of each hand is extended along the utensil. Meanwhile, the American <coughs> method often sees the fork being transferred from one hand while cutting the food to the other while eating. Etiquette experts advise that the continental style may be the most diplomatic. Again, if in doubt, it is always wise to default to copying your host. Basically, uh, they just don't want you passing your fork from one hand to the other. Like, okay. See, I, thought, I was taught that that is the correct way. My dad used to yell at me because I was definitely like left handing <clears throat> and just yeah. But like, why do you eat with your left hand? Uh, because that's where the, the fork, fork is. is. <laughs> right? <laughs> like, My right hand's holding damn nice, so I can cut the fucking steak. Yeah, yeah. So I mean, I could uh, like you're supposed to put the knife down and switch hands every time. He was like, yeah. I was like, that seems stupid. So here's a question. <laughs> I don't have this kind of time. Here's a question. <laughs> we are not going to find the answer to, I'm sure. But here's a great question for philosophical thought. Philosophical thought? Continue. When silverware came about, do we think that the knife was in the right hand because of it's Battles. easier to cut? Or, yeah, like, you're about to get assassinated, you have a weapon in your right hand. Like, somebody's at dinner, and all of a sudden comes jumping gonna, at you over the table like, I'll stab you in the throat! I'm going to go with uh, your first utensil was probably just a knife. Could have been a spoon. I mean, I'm, just, I'm gonna go with the knife was first because that's how you killed the animal. Yeah, you didn't kill it with the spoon. Pokey, pokey, so, look, man, it could be a hammer. You don't <laughs> so, know. So as you as you work your way down, I mean, it was. A, let's be honest, it was a rock. <laughs> yeah. but, <laughs> anyway, but so like you know, you eventually you know got a spoon or a stick, you know, to like uh, it's a chopstick. So you had one chopstick and you were just poking your meat with, and then I mean. Then they, then they like venture to break into like two sticks. Like if we pinch them, we could pick it up. We could pick rice off. Number five. No. Shouldn't this be number four? Whoa! No. Didn't we already Whoa. do two? Number four was the. Adopting, yeah, ho- yeah, adopting continent. Let's go back up. Three was a napkin. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Well, yeah. All right. Wait, wait on bread. bread. All, right, all, right, all, right, all right. Anyway, sorry. Uh, five. No elbows on the table, but only while eating. Uh, so after eating, it's okay? Unless an engagement really encounter. Da, 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 da. I don't understand. Elbows used to be seen as a, seen as a sign of intimidation. Uh, Martha Stewart claims <laughs> that resting <laughs> one's elbows increases the likelihood of slouching, <laughs> which is in itself considered rude. Whatever the reason, most people agree <laughs> that elbows on the table while eating can be seen okay. as impolite and can intrude upon your neighbor's face. Uh, <laughs> 
Especially when you're trying to eat next to a, next to a left-handed person. Right. Scroll down. I'm just, that, that caught me <laughs> off guard. So. <laughs> you don't, don't make me intimidate you. Bitch. <laughs> With my elbows. They're a little ashy right now, but you know. Last one. <laughs> Pay attention to local customs. Ta- I, I see, this that. makes sense. And this is like, probably should have been number one. Like, well. what is it? <laughs> Filipino dinners? Sometimes there's no silverware at all. Is that no? That's not Filipino. Is it, isn't it Filipino? Where it's like Indian? family style? Indian. Oh, Indian. They Filipino with the bread. With the eat with the bread. Do you yeah, yeah. eat it with no fucking fork? Yeah, like uh, e- Egypt. They have the Egypt Egyptian like flatbread stuff, yeah. and they use that with everything. And mm-hmm. then you have a uh, non. I think it's like Sri Lanka or something. Like that. They all eat everything with their hands, like yeah. their, well, their left hand. Yes. Hand too. Uh, Arabic, like yeah. Israel, where yeah. you eat with your left hand. Yeah, you don't do anything with your right hand except for one specific thing. <laughs> <laughs> so, and um, just like with the uh, the slurping ones, noodles. Slurping like, noodles is good. Yeah, yeah like it shows like to the chef, like oh, he like my shit. <laughs> Filipino dining etiquette: nearly all fil- uh, nearly all meals are fil- mm. Mm, good job. Nearly all meals are served with rice. Many Filipinos eat with their hands or with a spoon. Never use a fork as a scoop for what? your peas in the United Kingdom. Really? Because the peas are mushy anyway. Yeah. And that is just gross. Uh, they eat beans with toast. That is true. Okay, so let's talk about this. <laughs> because I've made it. And they're like, all right, you didn't make it right with proper beans. I'm like, first off, it was beanie weenie. So they're, they're definitely. <laughs> first proper. off, it's Hormel. <laughs> beanie weenies, okay? Get right. Well, that's why I just had the weenies. Because uh, I have to Americanize your shit. Straight up the the blue cam of yeah. beans from yeah from Heinz and everything. Yeah. yeah, that's I know that's what you're supposed to use, but yeah. I'm American and I want it my weenie. Quick throwback: <laughs> Filipinos do offer cutlery, but mostly for their guests. So they literally make you feel comfortable by offering you silver. So they just eat posit with their fingers. I, mo- like you, seems messy. I, hey, look, man. I mean, p- for, first off, posit is a little messy. Yeah. I mean, yeah. you can't you can't get it all in your mouth. No. Like not when you're eating it like a human. Like you're trying to get as much of it in your mouth as you can. Yeah, <laughs> and, and chew because you want it's the so, texture. Yeah, it's so good. <laughs> okay, so it's, you're gonna have some fall out. I mean, but if you buy the correct noodle, which is the orange pack, <laughs> no bullshit. It's called the orange pack. Uh, that's the what rice everyone noodle, yeah. knows it as. It's it's the it's the rice noodle in the orange pack. That's how I was told to go to the store and ask for it and buy it. From a Filipino. Because we were making ponzi for like 300 people. Wasn't I there for that? Yeah. And I went to the Asian market and said, hey, I need orange packed uh, rice noodles. Oh, yeah, I remember. And they they, they were like, oh. And they showed me where they were on the shelf because I was wandering around the store. Because evidently, rice noodles are fucking everywhere. But anyway, back to the beans and toast. So, <laughs> home home cooks, if you're making ponzit, you go ahead and you get the orange pack. You eat it with your hands, like a real man. Because that way the noodles don't break. So they're longer. So then you can get maximum Ooh, lumpia in your face at one time. Maximum lumpia in your face? Oh, sorry, ponzit. Uh, and is it ponzit or pansit? <laughs> where, where are we at on that? Is it pansit? Is it pansit, P A N? C R I T, yeah. So is it pronounced? It's pronounced pansit. Filipinos say pansit or pansit. Oh God! I think pansit. Pansit, pansit. Mm-hmm. What do you say? Pansit or pansit? Pan- I say pansit. I say pansit. I think it depends on where you're from. Uh, America. Well, I'm saying like also, Northerners might say a little bit different than Southerners. Well, I want to know what they say in the Philippines. Also, America. It's probably not pansit. <laughs> it's probably some other stuff. Do you think? Chinese people aren't calling it fried rice? <laughs> I mean, yeah, but not in English. <laughs> Ponset. Ponset. So we're all saying it wrong. Ponset. Ponset? Yeah, with a harder S. Pence, like, Ponset. Ponset. So we're all saying it wrong. <laughs> Ponset. 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 Sounds so English. Sounds like well, uh, keep in mind that it, this is the American pronunciation. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it literally says American pronunciation. Ponsut. Okay, so back to the beans and toast. Mm-hmm. Very dry. Yeah. 
even with the weenies. Then a cup of strong black coffee. You're getting me started for the morning right now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I can't do it that. Looks, so you toast a piece of bread, you cook some beans, and then you pour the beans on top of the bread. Just, yeah. to, just to, again. Beans I'm, and toast. That is the it. That is all it is. I want to go back to Ponza real quick. You're allowed. Because... This is our podcast. We do what we want. We're well, crazy. Well, technically, everybody's right. Because in Tagalog, which is, I guess, the Filipino language, it's yeah. pan-sit. Like, pan-sit. Damn it. That means they were right, dude. It's also spelled... Keep that shit to yourself. Pan-sit. Like, it, uh, there's, no, like there's no wrong answer. I guess. It just... It's like pan a... Pan-sit is going to be the correct way to pronounce it, then. No, uh, I mean again. I if feel like it's I, in their language, I'm gonna assume uh, <laughs> that they know how to pronounce it. <laughs> Why are you Italian with that? Because that's a spicy meatball. It's a me, Mario. What, what, did, what did the producer do the other day that she turned Italian? Oh God, I don't fucking remember. That was that great. We were like stuck on it. Like she said it, and we were like, "Do you what? Do you want the one more? <laughs> yeah, do you want the little more?" And like. She was like talking to a customer. Like she definitely did not mean to slip <laughs> yeah, into yeah, it, but it was like it Marioed. Yeah, yeah. yeah. They, they were like, 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 like it was like they wanted like extra ketchup. You would you like a little more? Huh? No. Like, what, do you remember what it was? Yeah, it was what was like, it? Like to look at a menu. Uh, uh, would you like to look at a menu? Uh, that's right. I just oh, but it came out like, as a paper menu. Huh? But it like she was saying something before that though, and like it was complete like flat yeah, that's English. Really? Yeah. No, 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 the best Philly has jalapenos and the fries come on the sandwich. Would you like the most? <laughs> like, like, yeah. it, just, it came out so like, like, so, like sing songish. Yeah, it was like looking at you like, what the fuck was that? Would you like to look at the menu? Uh? <laughs> I'm sure the customer heard us too. I hope they were laughing. I couldn't see them, but like. But before y'all left, yeah, Melissa just took like, a little yeah, bit of. She should quit. <laughs> Melissa just took a little bit of brownie. She's watching Mar Batali. <laughs> <laughs> Moto Mario. <laughs> Would you like to look at the menu? <laughs> Would you like to look at the menu? It's a me. Like she was Princess like, Peach. She was. I mean, I know the oh. Mario movie just came out, bro. But come on. <laughs> No, that, I mean that was hilarious. Like yeah, again, she was like deadpan the whole time. Like, you know, yeah. like, would you like to look at a menu? Blah blah blah. And or, no, like you know, what would you like? Yeah, best feeling. But would you like to look at the menu? Like I came out of nowhere. She just saw a dude with a heavy mustache. She was like oh, Mario. <laughs> I was just waiting for her to jump for the flag. Do, 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 do. <laughs> the, the, pri- the princess Peach is not here. <laughs> uh, you mean there's another level? Yes. <laughs> it's a me, Melissa. <laughs> <laughs> Melissa's the evil one. <laughs> I'm going to win. <laughs> <laughs> Give me back my menu. <laughs> uh. Okay, Jill. Man, you could have it back. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> Don't want to keep it. As always, ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> thank you for listening. <laughs> now you're sounding like Count Dracula. <laughs> I mean, maybe a little bit, yeah. It did, did kind of go Dracula. And the one, and the two. <laughs> As always, ladies and gentlemen, you can find us on Facebook at Team Fact On Instagram at Team Fact Nation. On YouTube at Team Fact <laughs> On Twitter at Fact Oh, wow. Yeah, really, we're really well? We're killing it. Really? We're killing it. And yeah. of course, you can find us online for all of your knife and apparel needs at www.teampacketnation.com. They also have the hot sauce up there. Not the 13th level. Hell yeah. Should we put that one up there too? Maybe. Yeah, we'll talk about it. All right. Uh, you can find the food truck on Facebook at Team Packet Food Truck. Instagram, Team Packet Food Truck. The Twitter at Fat underscore Truck. You can call us for all your pre order and catering needs at 757 427 1586. Remember, stay hungry, be creative. And don't forget to sharpen your knives. Praise the Lord. Peace, love, and bacon grease. Anything else, Louie? You got this podcast yeah. is very nice. <laughs> Chili fucking ramen. Chili fucking ramen. It's really uncomfortable. Chili ramen, Bezos Musk. Good.